Less than half a decade ago at this time, the Blue Arrow became the first player since Allen Iverson to post three straight playoff games of scoring 40 plus points. Skipping ahead three years, and he's replaced Tyler Hero as the star of a Jack Harlow music video. Look at Murray, man. So inspirational. It's dope to witness a fellow foreigner rep the culture with one of the top 20 rappers in the game, as fittingly Jamal cemented himself as one of the top 20 basketball players in the game. Murray, along with all of the expected repeat caliber nuggets, received their rings in under 8 weeks time. So what a time to be alive if you're from the mile high. Bars aside, and considering Murray, Brown, and company have gotten back to the practice gym, the Denver Nuggets are ready for more. Before breaking down the keys to a repeat that have failed the four teams before them, and the narrative the Nugs are fighting against that my raps are also battling, 78.3% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't yet. Please like this video for the YouTube algorithm, and please follow at DFlowHoops on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you for any bit of support. Back to the content. Let's not waste any more of your time by getting right into the narrative Denver will be fighting against in the 23-24 season. While I'm a Raptor fan, as I said, Toronto's also involved in this. Feel free to fact check me on this information, but six different franchises winning the championship over the span of six years has never happened over the 76 year history of the NBA. It will, however, occur for the first time if Toronto, Los Angeles, Milwaukee, Golden State, or Denver fail to win the 2024 championship. The parity we've seen over the last five years in itself is a once-in-a-generation rarity, proving the NBA is truly more balanced, talented, and therefore competitive than it's ever been. What's taken place over the last half decade has only happened twice throughout league history. From 1954 to 58, we saw five different teams become champions in Minneapolis, Syracuse, Philadelphia, Boston, and St. Louis. From 1977 to 81, Portland, Washington, Seattle, Los Angeles, and Boston did the same thing. But aside from those two spans, 2019 to 23, is the only time in league history that five teams have won the title in five years. Boston won eight straight championships in the 60s, LA and Boston combined to win eight championships in the 80s, Chicago three-peated twice in the 90s, LA and San Antonio combined for seven championships in the 2000s, then Miami and Golden State combined for five championships in the 2010s. So my question to you all is, where have dynasties gone? Are dynasties in the modern age just dead? The underlying key to the Nuggets becoming one isn't simply their generationally great duo of Jokic and Murray, but the development of a generationally rare, soon-to-be sophomore out of Kansas. Don't get it twisted, Nikola and Jamal will obviously be the primary driving forces towards the Nuggets winning another championship, and later on we're going to get to an all-time legend that Murray stacks up exceptionally against but Christian Brown taking another step in his second pro campaign will be incredibly important. That's especially the case considering the losses of fundamental rotation pieces Jeff Green and Bruce Brown. Christian became one of five players in history last season next to Bill Russell, Henry Bibby, Magic Johnson, and Billy Thompson to win an NCAA and NBA championship in back-to-back -back years. In just over 16 minutes of action during the NBA Finals, Brown averaged exactly a steal per game. Despite that playing time being second to the bottom, only ahead of Jeff Green in terms of Nugget rotation players, Christian's steal average was higher than Nikola Jokic's and deadlocked with Bruce Brown and Jamal Murray for the second highest mark on the team when it mattered the absolute most. Per 36 minutes, and Brown was the team leader in steals per game during the NBA Finals, that's pretty insane considering he was just a rook. Regarding general statistics in the five-game Finals matchup versus Miami, the Kansas alum posted merely 5.8 points per game, but did shoot over 70% from the field, the second-best efficiency on the team in the championship series. In terms of this team's overall young talent, Christian will have the help of fellow sophomore Peyton Watson along with incoming rookies Julian Strother and Hunter Tyson. GM Calvin Booth re-signed Reggie Jackson and DeAndre Jordan, plus brought in Justin Holliday. Contavious Caldwell Pope remains under contract, and like Brown, will have an added chunk of responsibility because of the departures of those aforementioned players. The main reason Christian Brown's development is so important is because outside of KCP, 
he's going to be the most relied upon role player for this Denver ball club in the upcoming season. So it'll be a huge year for both KCP and CB. How effectively those two can step up is going to determine a whole lot. On the topic of determining a whole lot, one of the best playoff performers, not just in today's game, but in this generation, Blue Arrow, is coming off being the star of both Jack Harlow's music video and Nikola Jokic's music video. However, he was the star of his own music video in the conference finals, where he averaged a team-high 32.5 points per game in a four-game sweep over the Lakers. I don't think enough people are talking about that average, and how he played in that series against LA. Blue Arrow went from a 23-point fourth frame to Ice Game 2 to a 30-point first half in Game 3, totaling 53 points over the span of three quarters on 19 for 27 shooting from the field and 8 for 13 shooting from deep range. Then, against Miami last June, during his first ever appearance in the NBA Finals, Murray's numbers were significantly better than the late all-time great Kobe Bryant's were, when Bean made his first trip to the finals in the year 2000. Blue Arrow averaged more points, more dimes, more boards, shot a higher percentage from the field, from deep, and from the foul line than the Black Mamba in 2000. Who knows if Murray, who's still yet to make an all-star team, can even get close to matching the legacy of Kobe when it's all said and done, but even when it comes to their all-time playoff numbers, Jamal is right there with Kobe. Albeit in 167 less games than the all-time legend, Jamal's career playoff scoring average is just 0.6 less than Kobe's, he's averaging more assists per game than Mamba, and his entire shooting line is higher than Bryant's as well. Again, there's a long way to go for Murray until he's even in the same stratosphere as Bryant historically, but it's more than safe to say he's on the right track towards achieving all-time great status. As a whole, the Nuggets get off to a very difficult start to the 23-24 campaign, as the NBA didn't do them any favors in terms of scheduling to kick off the new season. As you probably know, they'll face a motivated LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Los Angeles Lakers, the team they swept in the conference finals on opening night. That'll be followed up by nine additional tough challenges in the Memphis Grizzlies, the Oklahoma City Thunder, the Utah Jazz, the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Dallas Mavericks, the Chicago Bulls, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Golden State Warriors, and the Houston Rockets. I'm curious to know what you think the Nuggets' record will be in those opening 10 showings, but for now, it's still the offseason, and Jokic and Gordon are still chilling back in the place Jokers put on the map, Sombor Serbia. Once the regular season hits, it'll be on Coach Mike Malone to keep his troops together, humble, and motivated, something the last four championship winning head coaches in Nick Nurse, Frank Vogel, Mike Budenholzer, and Steve Kerr haven't been able to do. In fact, three of those coaches have been fired from the team they won the title with. If the Nuggets personnel wants to keep their man in charge employed, they'll have to again master what should be an increasingly complicated playbook while showing this type of love in the locker room. Proud of you guys. Mike, what is shoot the ball? Hold on. Mike, you're Mike. It's that type of camaraderie that has NBA legends respecting the hell out of what Denver accomplished in 2023, and more specifically how they accomplished it. When speaking on the Nuggets title run, 11-time All-Star former MVP and now TNT analyst Charles Barkley would say, quote, With all the BS that goes on in the NBA, what the Nuggets and the Joker accomplished just made me feel good. No super team, no drama. End quote. I'm gonna add to that by saying, Denver built up their team naturally and didn't rub it in whatsoever once they won it all. They became world champions because they're humble champions, which should send a great message to incoming contenders and future players on the come up. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.